So we're here at WC Tech, and we're gonna take a look at Spot, the Boston Dynamics robot. So let's check him out. It's Bailey here from Future Maker Lab, and we're here at the robotics lab with Matthew. Nice. So why don't you tell me a little bit about robotics? Okay, so in our robotics program, we're trying to train our students to be as versatile as possible. So there's a lot of different robots for different solutions. Um, one of them behind us is a Delta robot. Uh, this guy is a great example of alternative robots. One of the most popular robots today is the six axis articulating arm. Uh, but sometimes he's not quite fast enough. So for fast pick and place operations, you want something like this guy. And you see he's got a, a built-in camera so we can train our students on vision systems. So how much can you make being a robot technician? Um, so that's one of the big questions we get in our program is what can students come in out of your program do and how much are they going to make? Um, the thing is, it's not like a diesel mechanic program where everybody already knows when you come out, you're going to be a diesel mechanic. Right. It's a little different. So for example, uh, one of the things people don't know about our students is when they come out, they can program two different languages, both C and Python, which are two of the highest demand programming languages today. C because it's everywhere and it's old and it's used in everything. Right. And Python because it's one of the most widely used programming languages today. So uh, if you look up the average salary of, say, a Python developer, you're looking at around 118000 a year. And that's just one of their side skills. They'll also be able to program microcontrollers, PLCs, and any robots in this room. We're looking at, eventually in our program, having three certifications in different industrial robots alone oh, wow. when they come out of the program. So they'll be certified in ABB, FANUC, and UR. So I see that we have a Boston Dynamics robot over here, and you said his name is Spot, right? That's right. So what's really cool about Boston Dynamics? Um, so this robot has been uh, just one of the most exciting new additions to our robotics collection here. Uh, he's, he's an autonomous robot that can be programmed to go on routines and go on missions, they call them. And yeah. all you have to do is drive him around, hit record, and he'll follow, he'll follow that mission. But while he's doing it, he performs his own calculations. Mm. He object object detects and avoids, and you can, there, the applications for him are, are various, you know, uh, so it's, it's hard to say what really can you do with him yeah. because there's not much limit to what he can do. Oh. Um, we currently have a six axis arm coming in that okay. will be mounted to his back. And so soon Spot will be opening his own doors and basically be able to travel around and perform any <laughs> functions that any of these robots can do as well as navigating his environment autonomously. So That's we're really pretty cool. excited about him. So what kind of uh, people would be interested in doing robotics? So one of the big things in robotics is we talk about STEM learning. So these are usually uh, people that are into science, technology, things like that. Um, that said, one of, the big, uh, one of the big things we're trying to remind people is this is a place where you start your education. Right. So a lot of times we we hear that you know an engineer might be great at this program, but why would an engineer come to your program? Well, here we're just getting an associate's degree, which is your start. So right. uh, when you transfer to WSU, for example, you could have robotics as your minor if you got your gen eds knocked out here. Yeah. So just because you're getting a four-year degree doesn't mean this program isn't right for you. Mm -hmm. But also, just because you don't want a four-year degree doesn't mean it's not. If you're a hands-on learner, if you like science and technology, and if you want something more thrilling than just sitting in an English class while you get your gen eds, then this is the place for you. If you like this video, Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this with a friend. You should also check out other videos on our channel because we do robotic stuff all the time. This is Bailey from Future Maker Lab. See you next time.